G'day everybody, today we're talking about the federal solar battery rebate. Labour have obviously won the recent election, which means that their promise to subsidise solar batteries for homes and businesses is now a reality. That's very exciting news for people that want to save money on their power bill, want to add batteries, or want to start a new battery system for their home or business. This video is not a political video. We're not here to talk about whether Labour should have won or should not have won, or whether it was right or wrong to introduce that policy. It has happened. We're a solar and battery business. We've been doing this since 2011. Our job is to let you know how that rebate works. And this video is for people that want to benefit from it. So um, Matt, tell us a little bit about exactly what that rebate means for people who want to now save money with solar and batteries. Yeah, sure. So it's a little bit different from obviously other battery rebates that have existed in the past. So it's not means tested, so nothing to do with income, property value or anything else. It's one per property. So if you had a multiple property, you can obviously use it per one. And it roughly works out to be about $350 per kilowatt hour of storage that's installed. And it's available for the first installation of battery storage only at that property. So if you started with a small amount and then you came back to add some more six months later, the subsidy would only apply for that initial installation. So it's an extension of the STC SRS rebate that's pretty well known for the panel installation. And the reason why it's obviously been able to come to fruition so quickly is it is just an extension of that scheme. So every kilowatt hour of battery storage will now generate 9.8 STCs. Um, which obviously gives you about that 350 a kilowatt hour in terms of a saving. So the battery needs to be VPP compatible. You don't have to sign up for a VPP. There, there's nothing else there in writing, um, but it just has to be capable of which most of the quality brands are anyway. Um, so obviously something that a lot of people have been screaming out for for a long, long time. We've done this for ever, <laughs> it feels like, and um, this has been well overdue. Um, and this subsidy will go in place with other state specific um, subsidies that are, that are available. So if you're in certain states, you can double dip in terms of both. So it's really, really viable now to get that battery that you've been thinking about for a while, um, or even increase the, the size of the battery. So um, yeah, obviously very welcome for our industry and um, a lot of clients out there that, are, that have been looking at battery storage for a while. In terms of the savings and the value of the rebate, obviously you touched on that there. It's, uh, it is quite valuable, but it does go down. Yeah. So um, at the end of the year, it gets decreased. And um, tell us a little bit about how that works and also what you think is going to happen between now and the end of the year in our industry and for consumers. Yeah, sure. So the STC value uh, does decrease each year. So people may be familiar that, with that before if they've had solar before and when they bought the panels and then maybe added some more later with a second inverter or, or delayed a purchase for whatever reason. So that does decrease each year. So in 2025, we're in demon year six. Next year will be demon year five, and that will continue to obviously erode to 2030 as part of that original SRS scheme. So the difference now, if we take a, a sort of standard installation, which has been about 16 kilowatt hours of storage, we do some a lot bigger and some that are a little bit smaller, but that's probably about the, the median of what's installed. The difference between an installation in 2025, having that system installed, commissioned and signed off and that rebate generated versus the 1st of January 2026 will be just shy of $1,000, about 950 bucks. If you were to combine that with additional solar or a brand new installation with a large solar array, um, with a 13 kilowatt, which is probably about the average now, you, you, you're looking at about 17, 1800 bucks in terms of the difference between installing the system from the 1st of July until the 31st of December or in 2026. So if it's something that you've thought about for a while, it really is quite valuable to obviously make that inquiry and understand what would be suitable, what will work. And um, what I see happening, and I mean, what's already happened is I've never known as many inquiries for a battery. We've um, obviously been part of uh, schemes and subsidies before for, for batteries that have obviously gathered a huge amount of interest, of course but this really feels like that one that so many people have been hanging out for. We've got thousands of, thousands of existing clients um, that have contacted us over the past few years. Like if anything like this ever comes up, reach out to me, come back to me. So what I see happening is there's gonna be a huge amount of installations that are occurring for any 
reliable quality installer um, across the country. Um, potential stock issues, um, obviously long time frames in terms of actually turnaround from um, the green light to getting the system installed, just down to the bulk of work that's there. So I think it's, it's obviously, again, great for the industry. It's gonna be a very, very busy year. Um, but I think if it's something that you've looked at, really do make that inquiry to think about what you wanna do because I can see this being like within a couple of months, the year could be filled up. Like that, that's really the demand. Like yeah. speaking to friends of mine in the industry, a lot of people I know um, in different areas, like, yeah, th this is, th this really is a game changer. Um, and rightly so, like the rebates come at the right time. There's a lot of people looking for batteries, system extensions, feeding tariffs dwindling, people looking for backup power. It's just been a sort of full suite of reasons why this, this feels like the right time. And um, there's some awesome batteries out there now that, that really meet those needs as well. So yeah, per perfect sort of storm in terms of everything coming together. Mm, definitely. I mean, I can reference when other subsidies have been reduced in the past, going back many years to um, different feed and tariff subsidies that have been introduced and, and reduced or removed. Uh, STCs for solar panels getting reduced at the end of the year and there has been times where you just cannot buy anything yeah. because there's, there's, there's nothing left. I remember one year in December we had quite a lot of work leading up till the end of the year when the STCs got reduced and literally every wholesaler and every manufacturer of solar panels in the country had nothing. You had to pre-order so far in advance to get yeah. it, it's, it just becomes chaotic. And um, it's labour too. Yeah. You know, we've only got so many installers. Not at GI Energy as an industry. Um, there's a labour shortage generally in Australia anyway. And when things like this happen, it's fantastic for you as a consumer if you want to save a lot of money. But just be aware of the, the issues that rebates bring as well, um, because it's going to be pretty pretty hectic. And um, if you want to get it done before the end of the year, it sounds ridiculous because it's, it's quite early in the year. But it's 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 really something that you should look at quite soon yeah. um, because you don't want to get caught up in that chaos when installers are booked out for as long as they are and I'm not saying that we will do this but some people gouge prices as yeah. well we saw it in COVID when there was a shortage of, of, of certain things yeah. price went through the roof and, and it can happen with soda as well yeah. um, so just do yourself a favour and don't get caught up in that and if you're really serious about battery make an inquiry preferably with us obviously but um, <laughs> if not with, with your preferred supplier and, um, and get something done sooner rather than later because this is a, a really, really generous rebate. Um, what else can we tell people about the rebate that we haven't covered, Matt? There's um, all batteries that are VPP ready. Yeah. Um, so you can, you've got your choice of batteries. There's lots there that you can choose from. Um, and that value really we worked out is up to about 18 and a half grand as a maximum, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's something I should have mentioned before. So you can install a battery up to 100 kilowatts um, in capacity and 50 kilowatt hours of that 100 kilowatt hours um, is claimable on this subsidy. So if you had yeah, that full 50 kilowatt hours that you're you obviously claiming back, that's a huge amount of money. What, 20, nearly 25 grand? Yeah. That's, that's massive. Yeah. And um, there'll be a lot of large homes that do that. There'll be small businesses, even medium sized businesses where it just makes complete sense now. The, the return on the battery because of this subsidy will wind in a couple of years that's before any other benefit of having backup. Potential VPP like benefits there, which we'll do another blog on about how to incorporate that in, especially if you've got a larger battery as well, which again, this subsidy leans into get an extra module. Like a lot of the systems we're installing are modular designs. You could get two modules and get the third one for nothing. So you can get a larger amount of storage to see you through those higher, you know what I mean, higher aircon seasons, heating in winter, poor weather, whatever else is there. Like, this is genuinely, um, yeah, the, like as I said, what, what the industry has been hanging out for and the, and the consumer has been hanging out for. So, yeah, th this rebate's really generous and, um, yeah, obviously uh, been highly sought after for, for a while. So, um, friends of mine, people I know through my kids' school or everything else, um, I guess one other thing there is there's been a lot of misinformation, possibly about the rebate firstly, but also about how a battery incorporates into your system. So do you AC couple a battery? Do you replace the inverter? Do you tag this on next to it? What do you do there? So to speak to someone that knows what they're doing there, knows how to make this work. Is your system on a shed and it's not on the house and you want backup of both? You really need to understand what you're getting and how it's gonna work because no two batteries are made the same. No two batteries will give you the same outcome. 
be really, really specific with the backup requirements as much as anything, and also the sizing. Like if you've got a six kilowatt system, a 6.6, .6, which has been that sort of buzz number um, for, for years and years, have you got enough power there to fill a battery? Do you need some more panels? Can that be incorporated into that inverter? We've got tons of experience there. A couple of different products that we love to install that we can retrofit and obviously just make sure that it, it, it works with what you have there. Yeah, the other thing is to how to apply. So if you're, if you're um, interested in, in the, the subsidy, then uh, we can help basically is the short answer. You don't have to get bogged down applying yourself. We do the vast majority of the paperwork for you and um, we get things approved for you. So um, that takes one job out of your hands and you don't sit, you don't have to go back and forth with government bodies trying to claim money back months later. So it's actually pretty easy as well, which is, is another real positive yeah. for, for the way they've structured this rebate. Um, and as Matt said, if you're going to do it, do it right. Not to sort of pitch GI Energy too heavily, but um, there are a lot of monstrosities out there, quite frankly, with installs that we see. Um, and uh, installing batteries is not an easy thing to do. And unfortunately, when rebates occur, we're probably going to see a few hundred solar companies pop up overnight, yeah. new ones, um, potentially inexperienced people operating them just there for a cash grab. Uh, we all saw it many years ago with the, the bats. Yeah. Um, that was an unregulated industry. And um, we all know what happened there with the issues with, with fires and, and so on. I'm not trying to say that that's going to happen here, but it will ultimately. You're going to see a lot of companies pop up, a lot of them offering really cheap things just to quickly cash in. So don't get caught up in that. Choose someone that's been around for a while potentially and just do your due diligence on the company, I would say. But um, if you're interested in, in a battery, now's the time to look into it. It's a great rebate. We're really excited. We're going to put some links through to some other resources that you might find helpful. We've got a blog explaining things. We've got some other information on buyer's guides for batteries um, and best batteries to choose and why one is potentially better for you than your neighbor, etc. So we'll, we'll put as much as we can in there to be as helpful as we can. And if you would like more information, just please get in touch and we'll, we'll do our best to help. Thank you. Thanks.